Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to G, an RPG Maker horror game that features a kind of cute style where your dog goes missing, so you go looking for it. Also, occasionally you must donate blood because that's the rules. The year is 1998, and it's July in Japan. Oh, that was a good year for video games. Hydrangeas are beginning to bloom, and the northern hemisphere has truly begun to experience summer. Deep in the mountains, a small village is about to experience a hell that can be traced back to one small event. The fate of this village. The fate of the people in this village. They've all been damned because of one child. You and I, we're powerless to stop the tragic play that is about to unfold. Even so, let's watch as the strings of fate tighten around the throat of this village. The wheel of fate is truly turning. Huh? Bark. Ah, Mitsuru. Bark. Mitsuru, you startled me. <laughs> Seems like it's time to get up, right? You must be hungry for breakfast. Bark, 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 bork. You got it. Let's go get some breakfast. I can give it pats. Bark. Happy. Got pats. It's your dresser. It's filled with striped shirts, polos, shorts, skirts, and tube socks. Your markers are laying about on top. It's full of your toys, coloring books, and art supplies. Your personal favorite is the little digital friend that you carry around. It's a family shrine. It's where you believe your grandmother and your grandfather sleep. But you're wrong. They're asleep underground. Thanks, game. Very optimistic. Whose room is this? It's your older sister's dresser. It's not filled with a lot of clothing, but the clothes are very chic. There's fresh wildflowers, fashion magazines, and fabric that she's been gathering for the past few months. Hey look, it's coming right or black. It's your big reverse dresser. It's a little clothing that may not not be clean. A Charizard! It's full of your big brother's toys. He's especially a fan of a new handheld video game series that your dad made, and a bunch of Sentai series from... before. Oh man, your dad works at Nintendo? Got that secret mule? A carefully trimmed bonsai. It belongs to your mom. It's your parents' restaurant, it's full of kimonos you cut us. They're not as colorful as you prefer. Hello, fellow family members. Good morning, G. Do you want to sit beside Mama? No. Good morning, big bro. Pokemon. Kohaku seems like he's really absorbed in his video game. It is usual, huh, Chi-chan? Huh. Don't be a meanie, big sis. Whatever. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, disappointment. I mean, Chi. Please take a seat. You're the only one in this family who doesn't play Pokemon. This is why you will forever be a loser to us. Great. Good morning, all. Um, is that fangs? Or is that just, like, the coloring of the mouth? You also have red eyes. No one else in this family has red eyes. Hmm. I don't have much to talk to you all about. As every other morning, I want to go over the rules of the village. As long as we must stay in here, we must keep these things in mind. Let's go older to youngest this time. Mama, please start. Rule one. We must take care of our people. We know what they need, regardless of what they think they want. Rule 2. Don't go upstairs without a parent. Rule 3. Give blood every Sunday for testing, which is today, by the way. Rule 4. Don't go in the forest ever. Very good. Mama has some work to do today upstairs, but other than that, there's nothing for anyone else to do that is required. 
and let's have some breakfast. Blah. Dad, are you a vampire? Hello, Chi. What are you up to today? I need new markers. I see. Well, you better go get them, yes? Big estate. Who are you? I look fish. The fish stares at you with its dead eyes. Sakayama. Chisama. Is there something I can help you with? Yes. What can I help you with? Markers. Oh, you need new markers. We best head into town and see Setsuka-san. She got a new shipment from the outside just yesterday. Snack. Gee, someone, it's too early for a snack. I'll let you have something extra for dinner tonight. Alright? So you also have red eyes. Hmm. There's a lot of dark stains on the floor. Apparently Sakiyama-san hit her toe really bad and it got cut it somehow. It's Sakiyama-san's diary. Do you want to take a look? Yes. You can't read, so no matter how much you look, it doesn't really make a difference. Hmm. Curious and curious. Let's look in the random drawer. So the oracle slips. Close the drawer. Uh... Bug? It's your dad's study. You're allowed to go in there when you turn nine? <laughs> you don't know how long you have to wait, but hopefully you won't go in there. No way. No, no way that's a bug. That's too consistent up there, too. It's a sink. The hand soap scent is really strong. You still don't really enjoy washing your hands here. Okay, it's back to normal. Oh man, a computer. It's a brand new family computer. Sold with doors to 97. And macro hard paint. You feel like you're in the future. We sure did. Open the filing cabinet. You open the bomb drawer. It's full of drawings you've done. What's in the trash can? It's a little trash bin. It has a couple papers in and around it. Do you want to take them? Yes. We take the papers. Before you can't read, so now you just have some pieces of paper. I'll have some use someday. Maybe. It's a bath. You'll be in there after dinner. Later, Dad. Ah, jeez, Summer, hello. If you need help with anything, please come ask me. Yeah, do you know why I made a weird emoji face earlier? Ah, jeez, Summer. Is there something I can help you with? Save? I mean, I've already saved. Minigame settings, what? What do you mean? You're saying weird things. I'm really not, Cheese Sama. Okay. You may find yourself in a situation in which you are tasked with completing an activity. In order to complete the task, you need to play a small minigame. Great us, up, down, left, right. Okay, in quick succession. If you beat the minigame, you'll complete the activity and we'll move onwards. Nah, that's fine. So, you are breaking the fourth wall. No, not a secret. I was almost about to say it, but no, it wasn't the case. You secretly named this Komanyo Eiji. You have no prayers to make and you haven't cleansed yourself, so you really shouldn't approach this part of the shrine. It's a tiny shrine for some sort of protector god that supports their family. You think her name is something Sakura. This is where you need to clean yourself before you go to the main part of the shrine. Hello, person. Good day, Chisama. 
Good day. You're a truly wonderful child. I should go pray at the shrine to show my gratitude. I guess it's just how the mouths are drawn. I thought it was like teeth, but... Well, the jury's not out yet. I mean, the jury's still out, rather. We'll see. Jeez, I'm gonna thank you for your blessing our home by coming here. It looks kind of skinny. Please don't be afraid to do anything you want. Even if it means destroying everything I own. I don't want to do that, though. Then please do whatever else you could possibly desire. Yeah, you're all kind of skinny and... Like you're dying. You flutter for the pages, some are written in, but most are not. Maybe when you get to new markers, you'll draw them in picture. Huh, it's a picture of your dad. You appear in the fridge, there's nothing inside. It was empty last time you looked, too. There's a weird location for a toilet. And there's like random blood stains? Gee, Sama, could you not have come at a better time? I have an important question for you. Would you consider giving me a blessing to see if a shopkeep might find a pregnancy test for my dear wife? I bless you to find the pregnancy test. Haha. <laughs> Thank you, Chisama. I'm sure that with your blessing we can find the test. Things a little weird. But that's okay. You know? Howdy, Chisama. What's up? What is howdy? Oh, I've been reading some old books that your father let me. That sort of thing is from a Western novel. Of course, you may not know what that means. I have no idea. Understood. Before everyone in the outside world died, there was a place called America. It had horses and cows and guns. It said everyone in the world died. Instead of hello, they said howdy sometimes. Sounds dumb. And that's why they all died. They all died because they said howdy. The great howdy plague hit everybody. Yeah, look, there's the portrait of the father again. Hmm. Hello, Chisama. Are you here to pick up some art supplies, or are you here to get your blood drawn? I want some art supplies. But I don't want to just take them from you. I know Papa says I'm supposed to, but I don't like it. Hmm. Ah, uh, how about this? I have a couple little things I need done. If you complete these tasks, Chisama, I'll give them to you. Okay, what do you need me to do? Well, I need some sort of pink plant so I can make some dye for a headpiece your sister wants me to make. I've run out of ginger. And your family ordered some. There's some growing by the gate. Go ahead and pick a root and bring it back. And lastly... Lastly? I want to do the blood draw without you whining, little one. Fine. Good. Then please get those things done and then you'll be coloring in no time. Yes. Are these? Seems like most everyone has already had their blood drawn for the week. You wish it wasn't necessary since you hate needles. But unfortunately for you, the illness can only be seen via blood draws. Maybe Sunday they'll be able to figure it out another way. A little weird. There's a bunch of carefully written notes here. Do you want to take a blank piece to color on later? You sneakily take a piece of paper. Nobody will mind. Ah, Chisama. It's so good to see you. Is there something I can do for you? The way you all stare directly at me is kind of weird. Because look, we're at an angle. You all stay, stare straight ahead. Nuh uh I just want to say hi. Well, hello, Chisama. Please have a blessed day. Children. Hee <laughs> hee. Hello, Chisama. Do you want to play? No thanks. Need to get markers. Okay. How's this place look? Open it, the handwriting seems shaky and erratic. You're not sure what's written here, but it seems like it was done while the person was afraid and in a rush. Ah, Chisama. Please don't open that. It's the only memento of my mother I have left. Oh, that is... Sorry. I know everything is yours. I just... It's okay. I can't, can't read anyway. You close the journal. Chisama. Thank you for your blessing for our home by entering. You're welcome. Truly, the only thing would be better is if your father came to visit. I could ask Papa to visit if you want. I don't believe I am worthy, but I thank you greatly, Chisama. Okie dokie. There's a single carefully wrapped fish inside the fridge. Ah, could be you want some. 
Of course, since everything belongs to Chisam and her family. I have fish at home. If you had candy, I might want it. No candy here, Chisama. Apologies. It's okay. Hey, stop doing the thing. Okay, we're free. Get to the outside. You prove the gaps much like you do every day. Hello? There's nothing but the forest. Yeah, that's what I thought. There was nothing but the forest. It's the name of your village. You have trouble remembering the name, but it doesn't matter much. There are no other villages anymore. So, vampires, yokai, uh, maybe M. Night Shalman's the village. Maybe Shinsekai Yoru. Or Yori? I can't remember the full name. Shinsekai Yori. Yeah, I was right. Uh, maybe one of those storylines. I'm, I'm just trying to think what's going on here. We'll see. Could be even a mixture of things. Pull some ginger out. Got the ginger. Had a quick time of it just to pull out some simple ginger. I'm away. I have brought the ginger. I can go all the way back to my damn house. This better be worth it. My dad's a very important person in this village, you know. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Lovely pink hydrangeas. This is the only boys that were pink ones in the whole village, so you have to be careful with it. Even so, you need to pick a flower for Akane's sake. Will you pick it? Yes. A pink flower. Got the stuff. I have the stuff. Very good, Chisama. I'll take those. Thank you very much. The shopkeep takes the ginger and the pink flowers. Now come over here, please, so we can get started. Chisama, are you alright? Uh, shopkeeper sets a go size. You'll definitely be alright. It's just a quick little needle, yes? You nod. Somehow manage to keep your tears in. Look, just pet Mitsuru-chan. She'll take care of you. Oh boy. You pet the dog as the needle pierces through your skin into your arm. It's a big needle. Very good, Chisama. Oh, I'll be over soon. That's yeah, a big needle, alright. You begin to feel dizzy. You make the mistake of looking at the blood splatter on the wall. You remember for a moment that old lady who had so desperately screamed at Papa. You quietly try to hold in your tears. You promised you wouldn't whine, and you really want those markers. A wet, cold nose bumps up against your leg. That's right. Mitsuru-chan is here for you. Your sweet, gentle puppy who loves you so much. And just like that, you start to feel better. Very good job, Chi-sama. You didn't let out a single whine. The shopkeeper Tsutsuko pulls a needle out and replaces it with a bandage. It's all thanks to Mitsuo-chan. Very good. Then let's have some tea and some crackers to ensure it didn't take too much blood. Yes, please. Oh, I had so much fun today. I guess it's time to go home now, though. Dinner's probably waiting. Oh, today was so busy, huh, Mitsuo-chan? Bark! The cicadas really do sound so sad this time of year. I wonder if they miss our mommies. We're bugs. We really consider those type of concepts. I know I do. Let's hurry back, Mitsuru-chan. What was that? Uh, Mitsuru-chan? Hey, where are you going? Mitsuru-chan, wait up! Does she want to go in the forest? You know you're not supposed to go in there, Chi. Nor is Mitsuru. Yeah. Hey, narrator. Getting a little too involved in this decision. 
Papa's going to be very angry with you. So let me ask you once more. Will you go into the forest? Yes. It's a bit of Mitsuru's fur. Go right. She went this way. Told you it was to the right. You hope. You pray. Huh. Fence. Why did she lose so much fur? This is the end of the forest. Mitsuo chan has to be somewhere around here. Mitsuo chan! Mitsuo chan! Where did you go? To get out of here. No, hey, there's someone behind us. Is someone? Uh. Where am I? You look inside the bucket, seems to be partially filled with someone else's urine. Oh no. There's also a bit of blood that has dried on the edge. It's an old faucet. A droplet of water falls from it every 30 seconds or so. You're thirsty. There's no knob. It seems almost like it's just there in order to torment you. Let me out. Hello? Where am I? Mitsuo chan? Let me out. Let me out. Cream is rusty, smells of black crust at the edge. Smells a bit like iron. Anyone else here? Papa? Mama? Is anyone there? Please? Papa! Papa, what's going on? Where am I? Papa, what's wrong? Would you just... Shut the hell up! I'm not your father, you little shut. You... You went into the forest. You broke one of the rules. Now you're no longer my daughter. You're a little slug. Disgusting, filthy, pathetic, slimy. It's time for you to suffer the consequences of your actions. Come with me. And if you don't... Well, it'll suck. You'll see. I think we are controlled by vampires. Um, I don't think I should have gone with you. Papa? Didn't I tell you? I'm not your father! I'm sorry. I just... I'm sorry I went to the forest, so... Oh, shut the hell up, slug. It's too late. You've been marked by the devil since you decided to not listen to your god. I had no choice but to destroy the devil inside you. And it will hurt. What do you- This will constrict the blood vessels, making you bleed less. Wait, no. I can't have you dying on day one. We we're just taking samples. Samples? The blood samples came back positive. So we need to do further testing in order to help further a cure. By disobeying the rules, you've shown that you are infected. You're no longer Chi. You are a demon in the place of Chi. Which is why. Don't feel bad for taking necessary samples. There's a weird thing going on. It's like almost like the smile's pinned. See it? No. Do not try to bite off your tongue. I won't save you from choking. There's so much we can learn from your kind. You normal? Please don't. Papa, don't do it. I'm not your father, slug. Rap! Stop, it hurts. There we are. The toe is off. Now I'd appreciate it if you stopped screaming already, you little monster. 
please, please, it hurts so bad. You can't be took it out from just that, right? We still have more samples to get. I'm not sick, please, Papa. Stop, it hurts so much. Are you sure this is not a bad ending? Please stop. What happens if I failed those? He's not coming back again today, I think. Is that your dull sense of hope speaking? No, maybe, I don't know. I slept twice since I saw him, but... It's so dark in here. I don't know what time it is. I'm so hungry. Should you really be expending your energy by talking aloud? I can hear you if you talk in your head. Are you the sickness? Some of you humans call me that. You've been here a while, huh? I just can never could talk back. That's right, Chi. I've always been here. I will always be here. Oh, he's coming. We'll talk more soon. Wait. You've tested positive, and we've identified the sickness within every part of your prophetic body. It's seeped into nails, your bones, your hair, and your organs. Have you begun to hear voices already, I wonder? Tell him no. No? Well, it will begin soon. Do you know what happens when you become sicker? Nuh uh. You'll go insane within the next few weeks, then try to kill yourself and everyone around you. I can see the Hikarashi influence here. Unfortunate, you are my favorite child. You had the most promise of being the next god. But now it seems. no matter. Since you're already damned, we're going to test the limits of your sickness. Come out. No! 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 I'm going to have a waste. Yeah, I'm going in there. I'm just going to just leave. See you later. Oh, damn. I just went into the cage. I have Looney Tunes myself. You're not going to scream for your father this time. Nuh-uh. Seems like you have realized your situation. I suppose being that your brain is have a child's. It takes a large amount of suffering to force you to understand your situation. That and the fact that I am one of your life givers. Anyhow. Seems like the machine is prepared. Hope you're ready to suffer. Huh? So you need to hold your breath. Pinch your nose. That was barely 10 seconds. You're gonna have to try harder, little slug. <laughs> Hold your breath, Chi. Uh, uh. There you are. That was a bit longer, was it not? Why don't we go a bit slower this time? Huh? Get to keep your head up. Don't panic. Take one last breath and... Relax your body, Chi. I think I just got game over. I must have tapped the wrong key. Like, I must have thought I was hitting the right one. Okay. Okay. Okay, buddy. You go on... You go on full lean between yourself on us, apparently. <laughs> you look so stupid! No, no, you don't. Look in the mirror. Shivering like that. Let's keep this going, shall we? You're there again, right? I am. Where is Papa? He's at your old house getting ready to leave. What about Akane and Kohaku and Mama and Mitsuru? Do they know where I am? I don't think you really want to answer that. The answer to that, rather. What do you mean? Let's talk about something else, Chi. What about you, then? What are you? I'm a sickness. But what are you? I'm a virus of sorts. I require a human being alive to latch on to. They can live on for a long time after they die. I don't understand. 
Why do you make people hurt each other? It's what I was made to do. Chi, I want to help you leave. You are the descendant of a god, Chi. I want you to live. You have so much untold potential, and I won't let your father waste it. What is my potential? Super spreader? You can create anything. Really? I can make anything. Anything. However, you aren't quite ready yet, Chi. Just a bit more time. But... The real question is what happened to the dog? Your father's coming, Chi. You'll be ready soon. Slug. Here are some clothes. Get changed. Huh? I said what I said, slug. Yes. What is this place? Your new room. Enjoy it. What? It's a little bit weird, because this looks cleaner and better than the other room, but... Not sure that's a good thing. Bowl filled with white rice. You're hungry, do you want to eat? So look around a bit more before you eat. Despite the fact you haven't eaten in three days. It's a soft pillow. It feels nice in comparison to the rocky floor you've been on for the past three days. It seems to be some sort of toilet. You press the button and empties the water and waste into a hole. It's barely more than a hole in the ground, yet... It's still so much better than the bucket from before. This corner especially smells of bleach, but the whole room smells of it to a certain degree. So I'm saying, this ain't good! This wall is very white. Much like everything else in here. Eat the rice? You sit down and eat the white rice. There's no utensils, so you just use your hands. You need to pace yourself, Chi. Chi, don't ignore me. Slow down or you'll puke it up. There you go. Thanks, voice in my head. Oh, Chi. Why is this happening? I only did one bad thing. Chi, it's not your fault. It's my fault. Your father is infected. Everyone in the village is infected. You are just now finding out the hell you're in. <sighs> oh, you're back. I am. How have things been? I really liked this room at first, but... Things feel weird in here. What do you mean? It's so bright in here all the time. And time feels weird in here, too. Like, time felt weird in the other room, but here it's even weirder. So it's a uh, sensory deprivation room. I thought I would sleep better because of the pillow, but... I don't know if I am. I see. And the rice bowl is filled up again as well. Yeah, it's all white too. Hey, you're gonna stay and talk up for a bit, right? It's really quiet in here when it's just me- You're back! I'm so glad I was- It's just really quiet in here. So... We're playing as... The voice. I don't know if it's a real virus. I don't know if it's a parasite. I don't know what what's going on yet. But we actually just decided to like just leave. We see these little time skips. The rice bowl filled up again. So I think this is my third day in here. I don't know how they're filling up the rice without me hearing it. It's like magic. It's knocking you out. I haven't really been sleeping, but it's you. Hey, you should stop leaving me. It's so quiet when you're gone, and... You said you would help me. Why did you lie? I didn't. You lied to me! You need to give up your sense of self before I help you, Chi. I don't understand. Let the Let's Player take control. I don't understand. Just a bit more. Stop! We don't react to anything. So maybe that's what they mean? You can't change and follow me, slug.
No. I'll be back at some point. But... A leg that was cut off a person with no care. Teeth and fingernails. Tongue and ear. Pretty sure this is a tongue here. Yeah, a tongue. It's a corpse. It's begun to bloat and smells foul. Oh boy, this is a grim game. You took a closer look at the corpse. Looking closer, she's familiar to you. It's a woman who screamed at you. So this is what happened to her. Parts of her skin seem to be slipping off. There's also things that are wriggling just under some sections of skin. A dark goop drips from her nose and mouth. You want to puke. Ah. Uh. How long have been in these bad places? Nearly three weeks. I can't be in here anymore. You shouldn't have thrown up. Are you listening to me? Still got that tiny bit of fire in you. Good. You'll only be in here a couple of days, G. If that. Once you get back into your first cell, you'll finally be able to get out. How? Tell me, please. I'll give you a hint. You'll need to murder some people. Murder? If you want to get out, you'll need to kill people. Like my father? Yes. I'm too little, I can't. There's plenty of ways for a tiny being such as yourself to kill someone, she. All you have to do is follow my lead. Three days, she. Then we'll take care of this. Three days. It's really bad. The corpse has gotten a bit more gray, hasn't it? I'm only looking at. You're not interested in what happens after you die. Not if it means that. We could also be quarantined in this like village. Like they could literally just walled it off. Go back to the kind of uh, that kind of story of a uh, horror style. Maybe she the last eight. Probably the white rice, just like me. Oh yeah. Come to think of it, how are you feeling? You're probably pretty hungry, huh? You're just trying to make me feel bad. It's what I do best. This whole part of the year isn't super necessary, you know. It just gathers all the sound into your eardrum. Oh, do you want to know some more fun facts about the body? Yes? The popliteal artery is in the back of the knee, and if you strike it with some sort of sharp object, you'll likely die. Are you suggesting I do that, then? Oh, yes. Oh, you're about six, right? Have you lost any teeth? Kids your age usually do. No. What about fingernails? Have you lost any fingernails yet? Is that a thing? Sure. Well, how about a fact about me, then? Okay. My entire being was created via the tearing off of a slice of a demon's brain and forcing a group of humans to ingest it in small quantities. I then absorbed through the body's stomach lining and worked my way into the bloodstream, where I can finally make my way into the brain. The brain is the true soul of the human. Because you see, the real hell is the one that we already are confined to. I create the hell with your mind. You see nothing but hatred. You feel nothing but hatred. You, after all, the corpse is of the dam may as well rot from the inside outwards. There is no future for you or your pathetic mind. There's no world in which happiness and joy actually. So here's my theory. Here's another theory I just came up with. We do have a disease, but all this stuff that's happening, the torture, it's not real. It's just what this, this thing is trying to show us to make us go like, give in. Huh. You really don't care about the teeth and fingernails anymore, huh? Do you want to hear some more stuff? I'm taking that as a no. If this leg wasn't so rotten, I bet it would make for a good treat during those desperate times, huh? What do you think about the cannibalism, Chi? I like it too. Wow, Chi. You have nothing to say. Too soon, demon. Ha <laughs> ha. 
You finally broke, huh? I suppose anyone would after the treatment you've been through. You're going to escape here, G. But it all depends on what you do now. Stay compliant with the of authority. Don't tell your father about the levels to which you can see near me. And remember one last thing. Your father will give you something to eat. If you don't eat it, you won't be strong enough to escape. Don't die, Chi. Come with me, slug. Oh, look! It's the woman. I have some dinner for you. Are you hungry? No, never mind. You're so skinny that if you don't eat, you'll die. I'll go get it. No way. That's... <laughs> Everyone's... Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're so comically evil. That's what I'm like... Are they possessed, and it's a real disease, or are we possessed, and we just see it that way? Enjoy your dinner, slug. No, not Mitsuru. It's time to leave you here to rot. I got bigger fish to fry. It's Mitsuru's collar. She's really gone. Cook piece of Mitsuru. What do you do? You decide to die. Let's see what ending we get. You lay down to next to the piece of Mitsuru. You're pathetic. Pathetic and a loser. I could help you, but you said no. You stupid piece of shit. Go ahead. Go ahead and die then. Give up. Disgusting. Because here's the thing. The thing knew like, oh, it's going to feed us something that we're not going to like. Disgusting. 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 Good girl. You're gonna wait a half a moment so you can regain your strength. Mitsuru is gonna to have to give you the strength to do what you need. What do I need to do? Your father is an absolute idiot. He's made you lose too much weight. With a little wiggling, you can fit through those bars. I can... escape? Just like that. Because I'm that small. Yes, Chi. Try it yourself. I'm free. Keep quiet, Chi. You're going to want to go to your right. We need to get you a knife. Don't go forwards. You'll surely die. To your left? Well, there's a fun lady I've been tormenting. She makes no difference in this realm. Let's get you out of here, Chi. So yeah, this is actually... Like I said, if it's real, this is a very powerful... Demonic disease. That's like a hive mind. Like it knows everything that's going on. Or, once again, it's... Not real. We'll, we'll see. Where do we get there? Setsuko. Chi-sama. Chi-sama, you're also here. I thought you may have been thrown down here, but I didn't expect you to be still be alive. And if you're out of your cell, you need to get out of here. Your father should have some keys. You can help me get out of here. You need to sneak up on him to get it. Please help me set me free. Now, they said if we're going to go forward, we die. Let's see what happens. Chi, I'll only give you one more warning. Don't go down here without a weapon. Oh. So when I got stabbed, the game crashed its sleep. I'm not sure if that's intended or not. Maybe it is. There's no knife in there. We'll need to go in there next, though. You think it would be here? What's this? Notes? We can't read, real, right? It's a piece of paper. Take it. Get the paper. G. 
Gee, it's time to grab your knife. Perfect. Now there's something I need you to do in the water room. Let's go there and take care of that. But I did see like demon pupils like the father had. Do you hear me? I want her dead. If you don't find her or break her neck, I will. I'll be back. And if she isn't a corpse, you will be. She need to be quiet and sneak up on him. If he sees you, you're dead. You got to get behind him and stab in his knee. You'll die. Oh, whoops. It was a quick time event. I dig the little animated death scenes. It makes me think of the Wax Museum. House of Wax. Uh, it was a really, really old game. Had kind of like first person like things like that. Give him in the head quickly. There. There we are. Step one is complete. Let's head into the drowning room and dispatch your father. It looks like Higurashi pupils. It looks howling narrow. I feel like that Higurashi was a pretty big influence on this. You want to head into the far back of the cage. You won't be in there for long, don't worry. I see something over here. What's this? These pieces of paper are interesting. Very interesting. Let's check out the other rooms if we can. Don't go there yet. Okay. Well, let's just do what the voice says. Cut your hand and drip some blood onto here. Why? Good, good. Glad I've been that set of filing cabinets. Oh god, we're gonna drown someone who runs in there. This this voice is a little too smart. Are you ready to hide? She where are you? Ooh, do I spy a little blood in the cage? You could be around there somewhere. No, clearly you can see into the cage. There's no one there. I, you're gonna drown, all right. What the? What the hell is this? You, slug, let me out of here. You, you cannot be serious. Don't move me over this water, you pathetic slug. What can you possibly think you're going to do? Put me back down, or you can be put down, all right. Oh. I see. So the sickness is talking to you. It's told you what it wanted. What it needs. <laughs> you stupid piece of shit. It doesn't care about you. It only goes to spread and kill. Drop me and you'll see. Drop me and you... Good work, Chi. There's one more you need to kill and then you'll be free. Then you'll be free. Don't need to pull him off. Hmm. Things are getting a little bit interesting around here. Jeez, how did you find something to free me with? Free her? Yes. Jeez, eh, how Oh my god. What is he doing? Pissing. He's got a kidney stone, so he'll be pretty focused. Still approach him from the back and get close to the wall. Kill him. What the? 
Good job, Chief. You've done it. Go up the stairs and get out of this hell hole. So I don't think we could have saved the woman. I feel like that was... Gee, let's get out of here. Still left. Let's just get out of here. Man. Where did we go wrong? Well, that was a facility. I'm still hoping out that the dog survives somehow. It's a long shot. Okay, we're back at our house. Um, what do you want me to do now? Hey, demon. Voice. What am I... What's my goal? Gee, thanks. Very informative. I'm telling you, it's not gonna be good. This is your last warning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. It's pretty terrible, huh? I told you. These corpses. Do you know who did this? I wonder. I need to go back. Screeching corpses arriving in eternal damnation. Can I read now? Hmm. Various sources of villagers. They look like they're in various states of distress and blood loss and might even be dead. Do I take a look at the ram door? Chunks of hair and skin in here. There's vials and vials of blood in here. Some of the vials appear to be more coagulated than the others. A few have cracked and leaked for the bottom of the drawer. Fill the brim of corpses of cicadas. Just by opening the drawer, several legs, wings, and other parts come off the dried cadavers. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe, uh, everything is normalish. And we're only seeing the world like this. I feel a sense of dread. This is where your mother certainly is alive or dead. Are you ready to go up? No. You aren't ready for the finale. Because when we looked at those things earlier, there was just like normal. Well, normalish stuff on it. But now it's all like dark stuff. There's some sort of chat room or mailing system opened. There's a lot of text and no pictures. Unfortunately, you can't read. The drawings that were previously in here are gone. There's a lot of hair in the drain. Oh! Haku, he's gone. No one's dead in there. Sister's probably gonna be gone too. She's gone. My room is completely emptied. So Yeah, like I said, I'm not I'm still Trying to determine, is it something real we're dealing with? Is it twisting what we're seeing? It's very much a Higurashi effect. Go in. It's time. This room is bigger than I thought. She's alive. Well, well, well. There's only one person that could be. Hello, Chi. It's been a while, hasn't it, hasn't it? Look at your stupid face, you look so scared. I suppose it's only natural. You've never been up here. What is this place? Don't you get it? It's all fake. The whole place, it's all fake. It's all just another game. And I'm going to win. Still just as confused 
I don't understand what you're talking about. Fight me. I don't want to. This isn't about what you want. It never was. It's about what the demon wants. Nothing else matters. There's no free will in this game. Kill me or die, Chi. Kill me or die. Oh. Can I just run? Nope. Ah! You really just stabbed me. <laughs> Again, you little shut. Ah! Again, huh? Well, it's a good thing it only takes me one step to pass you. Hey, that's cheating. Come at me. Ah! Why can't I hit you? Because I'm decent enough with these arrows. I'm not done yet. Let's go, G. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come closer. Don't. I'm coming closer. Ha. <laughs> Now that's a street. I hear cars. So it's it's very much the modern times. But the village was very old school. Well this road is kind of terrible, ain't it? Where even is this place? It's not far now. Stop whining. Yo, this isn't gonna break your water, right? I don't want your nasty baby juice all over my new car. Don't be crude, Kunio. I've still got a month and a half to go before I get birth. It's just uncomfortable to go down this bumpy old road when I'm so huge. I'm so glad I'll never be pregnant. It sounds like hell. The only thing I experienced that's worse than being pregnant with you two was raising you. Just you, Kunio. You understand how terrible you are. Thanks, Mom. Oh, I'm aware. Anyhow. Yoshi, when we arrive, I don't want you to go into the fenced-off area with Kunio and I. What? Then when are they are from my coming? If you'll be quiet, I'll tell you. Where Kunio and I are going is extremely dangerous. It may just be the most dangerous place we have ever been before. I'm sure you've heard of Erwin Schrodinger's cat paradox. The concept is simple. A cat is in a box of poison. There's no way of knowing if the cat is dead or alive within the box. Was creating the paradox that the cat is both alive and dead within the box via the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. Once you open the box, you'll discover that the cat is now dead or alive. Still, until you do open the box, it is dead and alive. However, there are other interpretations of this font experiment. Hugh Everett formulated the many worlds concepts, which we, those amongst the SEPs, have a significant evidence for. The many worlds theory suggests that even after you open the box, the cat continues to be both dead and alive via the act of quantum decoherence. It essentially splits into two separate, going to quantum or mortality, paths. One in which you observe the cat to be alive, and one in which you observe the cat to be dead. Because of this, both worlds can exist next to each other without you needing to decide. That one is correct and one is incorrect. I'm aware of all this information, so would you please tell me where exactly this is going? My point in this is that we are about to open the cat's box. But in this case, opening the cat box will have implications of whether we will exist in a world where the whole town is dead, or whether we will exist in a world where someone survived. The only people who could survive the Sakura virus would be someone of the UNO family, those who made the box, a poisonous box that was specifically created to facilitate the death of the cat. So then what you're saying is that this is a miniature alternate dimension, and you don't know what happened within it. Something similar to that. 
The fact of the matter, though, is if that one of these cats survive, there's a possibility that it will close the box in our heads. If that should happen, we will die. Oh, this is going to be fun. Shut up, Kunio. I suppose the big thing here is that should Kunio and I not come back within six hours, except that we are dead and bomb the fenced off area. You can't be serious. I'm serious. You need to live, as you still have to eat properly offer an heir to the Sakura family. Two boys. No good, no good. You seem to get pregnant again. Still, we need you here. So someone knows, just in case. Oh, hey. Is this it? Yes, pull over. So it was some kind of weird village thing. Wallet. Money. Dice. Can you always carry cyanide pills just in case? We'll see where this goes. I think I have a grasp on what the story is now, but let's let's see. Are you going to be okay? Huh? You don't know what's going on in here. From what I understand, you could be pretty easily killed. It's a pocket dimension, so you won't be subject to this world's rules. You'll be subject to the rules of whoever whatever is in charge. And that thing, that thing is controlled by the virus. Oh, Yoshi, you're so funny. I'll kill whatever it takes to make it back out in one piece. No need to worry. But it seems like there's an SCP aspect? And got a dang Jurassic Park fence. Are you ready to open the cat box? Let me read this. What does it say? Warning. Biohazard beyond this point. Unless you have proper clearance, do not enter. Fence is electrified by milliamps strong enough to electrocute and possibly kill. Any attempts to climb the fence or enter the property will end in your death. Either via the biohazards contained or via the electrified fencing. You've been warned. Sounds like fun either way. <laughs> Why the hell wouldn't I be? Good. Then let's go. Well, this place looks different than I expected. It's definitely been pregnant distorted. I can't help but wonder if this was caused by the youngest child. Okay, I'll go into this a bit after this game is over. But there was an anime I mentioned before. Now I'm thinking of that anime now. With the whole pocket dimension thing. Huh? Ain't she like five? How's she supposed to live through this shit show? The Sakura virus will want to continue to spread. Someone here is still alive. Still. This place is weird. Cause look, the whole world's become crayon. Indeed. It's almost as though we've walked into a coloring book. Cause they like being here with markers, remember? And it kind of feels like we're being watched too. We most certainly are. We need to pull the plug on this experiment as quickly as possible. Come along. What's the steering wheel? No, you idiot. That's the Dharma... Dharma Chakra. Oh, I see. Well, we could always... Spin. A Wheel of Fortune! Don't. So, I'm gonna lean that the... That the virus demon did change the world we were in. So there was, they were doing legitimate blood tests. Like, that was a real thing to test for the disease. But that's why everyone suddenly became really evil at the last minute, and it was, like, almost comically so. So it, it did shift the world in a sense. We viewed the world in a negative sense, and it made it that way. Just so that, you know, it could have a chance to escape. This is way he's in the town. We need to figure out what has happened here. Whoa, it gets weirder. What are those things? But all the humans in this place were dead. Those even human? Yes. Well, they were, anyhow. They in this world seem to be drawn to shell what it once was. The little girl must be the one in control now. We need to switch around. She might be somewhere in here. She could be in the house. A journal and a little candle. Oh, what's written inside? Oof. Looks like it's just a solid object. Not even like it's glued together. But, like, there's no pages at all. It's still interesting that this game actually did go on longer. I thought it was gonna end with Chi, like, dying or some kind of climax like that. Uh. But this is a whole other section to the game. 
Hello. Good for you. Very interesting. I too like anime. No, I don't like that anime. Yeah, no, you have bad taste. I'm gonna be going now. I don't speak dead. Huh, don't think he's even plugged in. That's useless, isn't it? I guess this whole place does run off of magic, though. It doesn't really matter. Glad I'm not in the cult. These uniforms are boring and ugly. I wonder if the, the weird demon brain explanation was true or not. Oh god. These children are even uglier than usual children. What do these things sound like this? Alright. I like our new character. Where's our demon hunting adventures? If we survive, we'll see. We'll see if we survive in a sequel potential. I kind of want to hear these paper freaks to shreds. Well, that's a go. At least you ended off better than you did. God, you guys have a lot of dialogue. Holy hell, these things don't shut up. This fridge won't open. Because why would it? Huh, a real piece of paper. Just says I'm going to Avicii. Have you found the girl yet? No, I don't think so. Then why are you talking to me? What she looks like. Not a drawing. Helpful. A fine eye. She has red hair and the side ponytail, yellow eyes, a skinny. Looks like a human. Helpful? Yeah, that's better. Good. Go find her. I'm bored. That's unfortunate because I don't care. Go find her. Fair enough. I wonder if I could translate this or not. They all have a lot of dialogues. So I'm curious if it's something important. Uh, let's go get some fish markers candy. No one tries to trust this drawn food with a 50 foot pole. Our new protag is very, like, old-school anime. Like, 80s, 80s, early 90s, old-school. Hi. You're the ones that were, like, suffering, right? Oh, what's this? A journal. I wonder what it says. I can't open it. it must just be for show. I have any fridge, this is hella tight. Let me just open this up and grab a beer. Oh, sure, you can't open it. Lame. What would most likely be paper? I wish I brought a water bottle so I could see how it affects these things. Can you imagine? Just, just bring a spray gun, like a super soaker. That's her weakness. She's have a hero in the house. I would say that it's possible that she's in the forest, but I bet my life that she deleted it. Deleted it? I mean, would you go ahead and recreate the worst moments of your life? Or would you completely remove them from your idealized world? I mean, as both a sadist and a monstrogist, I would say those are the best parts. That's because you're screwed up in the head. But imagine that you weren't. Then I guess the pain would suck, huh? So she would probably not want to recreate it. Correct. Then let's find her. Oh, the dog's back. Oh god, Mitsuru.
Oh god. The noise is really bad when they try to talk. The RPG Maker was not meant for this many text sounds. Jeez, that one went on in a while. It's just a dog or something. What dog even be saying? You must be saying something if we were to translate these. Someone's here. Well, looks like you're in the house. Only one place left. I don't think she's out here. So we head inside? Yes. Well, well, well. Look who we found. Your name is Chi, correct? What happened here? Boy, you listening? My mother asked you a question, Brett. Who are you? My name is Sakura Hisako. I knew your grandmother. Why are you here? We have come to collect you. Collect me. Correct. We're going to remove you from this place. Why? This is my home. You can't take from me here. This is my home. This is my family. These are the people I love. Remember the demon even said you can create? So she did create, in the end, made this marker world. No, they're not. These are the shells of what your village was. Now she's losing, uh, JPEG pixels. No. Everything is perfect here. Everyone loves each other. My family is always happy. Mitsuru is here. There's always sweets for everyone to eat. There's no sadness here. It's not real, though, Chi. And you know this. No, I... Chi, I stop this nonsense. You made up this world after your mother... Don't... Talk... About... My... Mama... 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 Way to go, you broke it. It was broken before I got here. It's not my fault that it continues to be that way. Let me see if I can fix this. Hey, little one. So the first sign this is a, a dimensional world kind of altering thing was the, the weird random portraits and we went into some of these zones. Remember the beginning? You had a rough time, huh? But it's going to be okay. Because I can get you a better person who will take care of you and love you better than anyone else did here. What do you mean? My little sister loves kitties like you. She loves to love them and feed them and play with them and take care of them. She even runs her own school. And the sickness that everyone here got? She does her best to make sure that nobody will get it in the future. She wants to protect all of you little ones. My mama and I aren't very nice. But she is. She'll protect you and care about you. But in order to have the happiness she wants to give you, you have to say goodnight to everyone else. I, I don't wanna. Nobody does. But the only way to owe Aoi in your heart will be able to stop. Do you promise? I'll be able to be happy? I haven't seen the demon. I'm wondering what's going on. Do you promise that the sad feelings will go away? I promise. It's not going to go that easy, is it? Maybe it did. Well, wait for the credits.
Unit 7312, Confidential, Sakura Hisako, Sakura Kento, Sakura Momoko, huh. Were these the documents I found? Maybe they're, they're playing out now that we actually have a blog? Overview of version 1 of Unit 731 versus the second version. Unit 731 began in 1938. Approximately 3,000 enemy soldiers and civilians were experimented on. The main purpose of this was to create biological weaponry. Secret of research as well as school located in Shinjuku. Lieutenant General Ishii Shiro was in charge of it. And the head nurse was Sakura Hisako. Supposedly under the guise of ensuring that occupying forces had clean drinking water, the truth is that they experiment on human beings. The effects of diseases such as anthrax, the bubonic, the plague, and more were studied. Among those more was the Sakura virus. Initially found on a prisoner of war, it was an easily communicable disease that ravaged the minds of any who were given it. Due to the horrific nature of these tests, they legally never happened. The American government ensured the continuance of these experiments was at the beginning of the second theory unit 731. In order to create it under the guise of something more innocent, a woman, Sakura Hesako, was put in charge. Her second command was another nurse who had served with her at the previous version of the unit, Ueno Miyoko. Ueno Miyoko had the ability to create a small dimension. Ho ho! And so the initial creation of Unit 7312 was begun. Mainly because of Sakura Hisako, the focus was almost entirely on the Sakura virus. As a biological weapon, it is expected to be extremely useful. Unit 7312, often referred to as Inunaki, Inunaki Mura, within the confines of extra-dimensional space, was created to have a cult-like atmosphere. The main purpose of this was to create a stressful environment and hide in any other emotions while simultaneously creating a forced state of respect. Unit 7312 began operation in 1968 using a small group of Japanese people who disappeared and later were legally considered dead. False memories were implanted via blue menthol claws, creating the false idea that all the rest of the world died via the Sakura virus in 1967. Ueno Miyoko passed away in 1989, with Ueno Kumiko coming into power then after. Ueno Kumiko's main purpose was to keep up the cult concept and the dimensional space, as well as give an information to Sakura Hisako, in order to have it logged and study more detail. It was discovered that the virus could be forced to activate, and thus the Chi experiment began. See, so I mentioned the age of these documents. Parental lobe is under distort information. Temporal lobe all but shuts down regards to emotional interpretation. Symptoms include increased paranoia, impaired decision making capabilities, hallucinations, persecutory delusions, apathy, forebrain rot, decreased pain in sensors, increased heart rate. Ometophobia, impulsive behavior, increased irritability, self-destructive tendencies, increased blood flow, eye dilation, increased saliva production, increased dopamine production, hyperfocus, and death. Normal brain, affected brain. These are human brains, obviously. We don't have data on those clan. Death's attribute to unit 7312. Takashi, Saburo, Makoto, Nuno family. Yeah, I say there's Kohaku, Akane. Tomoko Ai, Kazuko Osamu, Yoko, Takuya, Manabu, Isamu, Mayumi, Sachiko, Katsutoshi, Susimu, unnamed fetus. Oh yeah, number one is pregnant. That's related to Unit 7312. Uenochi, Davis, Ito, Sugi, Mai. This doesn't include the biological warfare that has come after the unit was abolished and Unit 7313 was made. Here we go. Ueno Kumiko. Kumiko was the head of the household. She held many powers of the simulation and was reported to us. She mainly was the overseer of the project, keeping an eye on everyone to ensure the cult mindset was kept in place. Passed away via assisted suicide. Context needed. It was a dimension she created for the sake of the experiment, the basis for the future games that have been going on with the devil. Future games going on with the devil? Yuno Shigeru. 
was the false head of the family. Due to the age of some individuals, it was believed a female would not be a suitable outward head. Due to his strength and ruthless nature, he was also considered the muscle within the confines of the simulation. He was drowned. Was his torturing of his daughter the reason why it spread to his wife, thus destroying the experiment? So then the torture was real? Well, we don't know what the extent of the torturing was. Ueno Akane. Good job memorizing these poor memorializing these poor kids. Akane was mostly killed on the same day Ueno Sumiko sees conversations with us. Kohaku killed the same day. Here's Chi. Ueno Chi was a trigger for the experimentations after it was discovered that her abilities in transdimensional travel and creation was at a much higher level than her siblings. As such, her abilities combined with the virus managed to fracture Ueno Kumiko's dimension. After the events taken note of their previous documents, Chi was taken to the care of the Sakura family. Sakura Yoshi believed she could assist Chi in regaining her ability to live as a normal child. However, Chi was quickly shown to have, and there's some red text here. Yeah, right. The care of the Sakura family. You missed some things. Maybe you should consider looking around again. Need more lore? So here's the rest of the documents. So, we left off with she was quickly shown to have trouble adjusting to the life that Yoshi attempted to give her via the academy she was running. Another child, Davis Lalia, who had previously had issues with the Sakura virus, including her father brutally killing her mother with a baseball bat before ending his own life by slamming his head repeating to a wall, he posted she at this time. Hmm, baseball bat, huh? She began to regain some sense of stability. She and three other girls from her class, Ito Masaki, Suzuki Mai, and Davis Lila, agreed to play hide and seek in an unused shed. What happened from there onwards is unknown due to there being no survivors. Two of the girls were killed by strangulation before their eyes were torn off. Suzuki Mai was found to have skin cells and some blood belonging to Chi under her fingernails. Bruce indicated that Suzuki Mai was strangled with hands, while Ito Masaki was strangled via rope. Various postmortem bruising and broken bones were found, indicating that it was a form of crime of passion. Some blood was also found that had the same blood type as Davis Lila's. No corpse of hers or cheese were ever found. The eyeballs of Suzuki Mai and Itomasaki were almost also never found. It is believed that she created her own dimension at this point, and brought the Evergirl's corpse along with her for unknown reasons. Cleanup was handled by Blumenthal Carl, who was ensured that she and the other three girls disappeared from all public knowledge and removed from the memories of all who may have known them. No further issues were known from this point in regard to memory issues. If she can create her own dimensions, why haven't I run into her yet? Perhaps the devil got her out of the games. Final notes from me. The experiment explained within these pages would be highly contested by the Geneva Conventions, as if any member of the SEPs could actually care about this human law. The carnage speaks for itself. The Sakura virus will unleash a blood-washed hell upon the world. It is a matter of if, but when. I, of course, already knew of all this. I've seen this devil of a virus subject get the plant time and time again. I used to keep track, but I don't see any purpose anymore. There is no god, but the devil exists in every being. There's still so many questions that are left around in my ocean of misapprehensions. Where did she end up? Who was a prisoner of war and she had the disease? How did the disease end up truly spreading throughout the world? Who continued the experimentation after this unit was shut down due to lack of subjects? Who is the Sakura virus? So that's it for Chi. So, storyline-wise, I, I made a few mentionings for a few different series. Um, I don't use that as a kind of a derogatory sense when I mention this series. Because a lot of things are inspired, especially in the horror field. Almost everything is like inspired by Silent Hill, and Silent Hill is inspired by Jacob's Ladder, and so on and so on. So I don't use that as a derogatory sense. I just try to analyze where I think someone might be have their favorite series and where the influence might be coming in. So I did check out this creator's um, art after I beat the game. So they are a fan of Higurashi. They actually have some art of the uh, the main characters there. So I think that influence was there. Although the main core storyline was not Higurashi, but the whole village aspect was. Uh, I saw a little bit of Shinsekai Yori. I'm not sure if that's an actual influence on it or not, but the, the concept of the village being kind of in a weird pocket dimension and shaping the world around you and being in danger, that seems a lot like a concept I saw in Shinsekai Yori with the children, that they could do that and they had to sometimes hunt them down. And then the way they described the disease almost made me think of the red-eye disease from uh, Drinking Garden near, where it can basically end the world. And then, of course, it gives you red eyes, like these main characters. And then there's the looping faction. The, uh, the the narrator that's writing these notes is some kind of looper that has seen the world end. Once again, we go back to um, the Earth series has some play on a bit of that, and uh, Higurashi has a bit of play on that. So there is some kind of greater story sequel bait thing going on. There is something really going on in this world. And I'm not sure if it's just this demon 
or if it's just there's just general you know, paranormal stuff, but they are heavily setting up more games you know, that looks like they want to make and write about. So we'll see where the storyline goes from there whenever they make more games. As far as talking about, like, say, the game quality or like, you know, criticisms or things I like, I'll start with the art, which is it's a very interesting style. So their main style that they actually draw on their page is very cutesy. There's almost no art in this game that looks kind of like their main style. The, the game's style is kind of neutral. Sometimes it's cutesy. And then it starts getting extremely distorted and ugly and grotesque as things just start hitting the fan. And it, it's going all over the place to where they, I think they're purposely distorting the camera angles and like the anatomy a little bit. And going back to the first seasons of uh, Higurashi, the, the one that was animated by Dean, they kind of took advantage of some of their low budget to kind of create that effect that some people really liked and some people don't. So it looked to me like they were trying to go for that fluidity it, that you see in some horror anime where it, it really starts losing almost the foundations of like the lines of the characters and just it just goes crazy. I think this style works for this type of horror game because if it was too, too cutesy, I think the middle portion would have come off a little bit wrong. The kind of grotesque faces in the art kind of, they both make it more horrifying, but also kind of blunt the horror of what we're, we're seeing. Writing wise, the game is fine. Uh, the main portion part of it anyway is, I think the game need to be a little bit longer. In particular, it need to be longer in the opening section. Not a, a whole ton much, but a little bit more. The village needed to be bigger. There should be a little more NPCs and stuff. And then the the epilogue section should have been longer too. Because there is a bit of a, uh, I would call it a bit of a breathing problem with the game. Where you need the, you need the quiet section at the beginning to kind of breathe in, suck in all the air, because you gotta get yourself ready for all the things that's gonna hit. And then you need like to be able to breathe out afterwards. So those two respective sections weren't long enough. And then most of the torture was kind of like the dominating section. So we were just kind of like stuck on the edge of our seat, like, oh man, how, how much worse is it going to get? And there's no time to breathe, because sometimes you need that breathing spot even just to not tire out the suffering. If that sounds a little bit weird, that's just how horror writing works. And you've got your interesting opening section where like the, the village is a little bit weird, you know. Uh, the, the villagers are weird, their house is weird, their food is almost empty, they're doing the blood test and everything like that. You know, imagine if you actually went a couple like a weeks, not literally weeks in the game, but just like little time skips. Like you're just drawing blood, you know, you're just, it's just, it becomes a little bit routine a few times. And then the thing hits as you're getting kind of used to this, how weird this is. And you're like, well, if this is how things are. And then bam, you're smacked with like the horror. And then the latter part of the game, you have the interesting marker kind of drawing world. And you've got these new characters who are completely different than our previous one, who were somewhat interesting because we're like, oh, these are some kind of people who handle this kind of stuff. They could bring a lot of information and a lot of things to us. Uh, and we don't get to spend as much time with them as that or necessarily see as many reactions as we should to the situation. So there's some potential loss, like I said, in the front and the back end. It's not a huge criticism. It's more of just, if you go to write future projects, you kind of like want to look at your, your breathe in, breathe out pacing because it's extremely important for horror. Some games it's too much breathing in. Some games it's not enough. Sometimes they, 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 they have you breathe out at the wrong spots. It's all sorts of things that can happen when you're writing something. And I appreciate the expanded lore and world and the potential that could have for having very different stories sitting within a certain universe and sequel potential. I think it's a little too back and dropped because it's almost all in text files. Uh, it would have been interesting, perhaps, instead of a text file, if, for example, what happened with Chi and her disappearing and the other kids disappearing, if that was like a little epilogue cutscene where it's after the credits. She looks like she's happy she's in the school. And she's like, hey, little, hey, ever fellow kids, you want to go in this shed? And then they like, go in the shed and they just close this behind them. Music cuts, starts to pan out. And then you like see a faint kind of uh, transparent image of like the demon that kind of like, bites your face off. Like you see it kind of overlaid on the thing. And you don't necessarily like see any blood happen or anything happen. Nothing extreme. Just you kind of like thinking like, that's a little weird. They're going into the shed. Why? I'd compare that to, say, so Mad Father, and then you have a uh, Witch's House. And without extremely spoiling their endings, um, both of them had very perfect 
good ho hard horror endings and they, they knew when to like cut it for that hit that's what this one kind of lacked the ending the ending kind of was the, the cut to the credits was a little too cold and then you had not enough payoff after the credits but yeah i think that sums up the lion's share of uh thoughts about this game i think it's a fairly solid first outing for someone's first rpg maker game and looking forward to seeing uh where else they will take their future game projects or whatever projects they decide to work on anyway so thank you all for watching play chi i'll see you guys later and take it easy